Let's balance the equation and take a look at the type of reaction for Al plus ZnCl2. This is aluminum plus zinc chloride. So the first thing we'll do is we'll count the atoms up. We have one aluminum atom, one zinc, and two chlorine atoms in the reactants. For the products, we have one zinc, one aluminum, and three of these chlorine atoms. Probably the best thing to do is to get this chlorine to an even number over here. If I put a coefficient of 2 in front of the aluminum chloride, 1 times 2 for my aluminum atoms, but 3 times 2 for the chlorine. So that'll give us 6 chlorine atoms. That's an even number. Now, if we put a 3 in front of the zinc chloride, 1 times 3, that would give us 3 zincs. But we have this 2 times 3 here. That'll give us 6. So we've balanced the chlorine atoms and the aluminum and the zinc, they're all by themselves. So that's really easy to balance. It won't change anything else. So let's put a 3 in front of our zinc. 1 times 3. That'll give us 3 of those. And aluminum, we'll put a 2 in front of the aluminum. 1 times 2 gives us 2 of those. So this equation is balanced. This is considered a single displacement reaction, sometimes called a single replacement reaction. The aluminum that's going to replace the zinc. The zinc, it ends up all by itself, and now that aluminum, it's bonded to the chlorine. So this is a single displacement reaction. If you wanted to write the states, they would look like this. This is Dr. B with the type of reaction and balanced equation for aluminum plus zinc chloride. Thanks for watching.